Hello and welcome to another Unmet Style podcast. I'm here with Stephanie Sullivan Ruiz. Yes. At In Control Conference in Orlando. So thanks for being with us. Thanks. Cool. So tell me, what do you what do you do for a living? I'm a front end developer. Mm -hmm. um, I basically take other people's comps, slice and dice, put them back together, hand them off, and they build a website. So I do that for agencies. And, more agencies lately than um, than full blown websites, mm -hmm. but I still do some of that where I hire a designer and hire a back in person and That's cool. pull it all together. Yeah, you do a lot of speaking too, right? I do a lot of speaking. You, you do training, and I do corporate okay. training, right. which I do customized um, whatever that company needs. Right. Which this year has been a lot, or la end of last year, a lot of HTML5 and CSS3. Okay. Right. So yeah, I've developed full weeks of you know whatever. Right. whatever they need, but I usually um, customize it and use their site or whatever they're working on to demonstrate and have them do hands-on. Right. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I like that a lot. That's good. Um, well, you're here talking about CSS3 specifically. Yes. yes. So i um, ask you a couple of questions about that. Um, why, why should I use CSS3 over something like Flash for some of my animations? And things? Well, um, or, or JavaScript even, right. you know, I mean, yeah. we or can jQuery. animate every way now, right? Um, you know, it, it really depends on what you need. You shouldn't always, you know, the right tool for the right job. So for simple animations that are more uh, decorative, um, not functional, uh, CSS3 is awesome. You have to be aware, though, that, you know, animations in uh, specifically are only WebKit right now. So, you know, um, you know, we've got various bits of support for transforms, transitions, animations. So what what's ready? I mean, if, if you're talking about, you know, WebKit really only being for the animation right. part, what's ready in CSS3 that we can use now? Well, it's very and, and when I when I uh, the talk that I do at InControl, I'm talking about what we can use and, you know, uh, progressive enhancement, graceful degradation, you know, kind of pulling it all together to figure out does it really matter if you have rounded corners in IE? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it really doesn't, you know? And uh, does it matter if there's a drop shadow? In other words, CSS3, the things that we can use now are just to enhance our page. Box shadow is very usable, text shadow, um, rounded corners, uh, multiple backgrounds. Um, there's lots of new background properties that I'm very excited about. And fairly usable. I mean, things are moving fast. Um, I'm still not clear on IE9's final stance on the all the background stuff, but there's a lot of stuff we can do now. You just have to realize that everything doesn't have to look the same. And that's what I think a lot of designers especially have a very hard time accepting. You know, they want the... I, I have had people before that handed me a design and then measured the pixels. Okay, but see, when you built it, they weren't even even so exactly, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, what we really strive for in this business is we're serving content. You know, that's what the web is. That's what a website is. It is content. Yes, it should be beautiful and, and attractive and inviting, but it's really the content that matters. And so whether one browser or device, because let's face it, mobile's a huge thing, um, whether they all see exactly the same thing, not really important. If we can make our pages lightweight, SEO friendly, less HTTP requests, you know, more performance, that's what the beauty of CSS3 is to me. And sometimes it's proper to use an image. You know, I see people building icons out of C pure CSS3 <laughs> yeah. icons or, you know, and that's cool. It's a cool experiment. But really, there are certain images that I want that alt attribute on. I want alternative browsing techniques to know what that is if they're not visual. So, you know, there are a lot of good reasons to use CSS3, but we still have to use our head and not just say, well, now CSS3 is the bomb. We do everything. And everything is HTML5, of course, right. you know. So, um, yeah, but there's plenty we can use already, plenty. So when, uh, when, when is it taken too far, though? <laughs> well... In the case of you know icons or things that mm. should be images, um, that's definitely too far in my book. I, but I'm very very supportive of the experiments. I think right. that's what pushes us all. One of the cool things that's that's coming out now, um, it's not coming out now, but it's getting used. It's getting legs. Is generated content. Mm. There's a lot of really cool stuff that people are doing with generated content um, experiments. 
Some of them I wouldn't necessarily, you know, they're making shapes and crazy things. Some of them I wouldn't use, but some of them, why not? If it's a little icon you need next to something, it's decorative, I'm all for it. If I can generate it through CSS, that's awesome. But you know, the, the good thing about CSS is there's so many different ways to do it. And the horrible thing about CSS is there's so many ways to do it. And any yeah. developer that gets, gets, looks at somebody else's code always goes, they didn't do that right, because that isn't how you do it. There's you know? no one right answer. That's right, the one Never right is. answer. Yeah. And I think that's why we have these big wars over how to do things, because everybody wants it to be black and white. You know, mm -hmm. There's a right and a wrong. Not really. There's, there's a right in in this situation that might not be right in another situation. And, and you know, I think that, you know, where is it carried too far when, when it's not done right for that situation, right. you know, right. really. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, everybody, Stephanie Sullivan, Ruiz. Yes. Thank you. Don't forget the Ruiz. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.